Good afternoon, 6th to 8th grade. Today we're going to do another Armenian monument called Tati Gembat Papik. In English, it's translated to Grandma and Grandpa. It's made of volcanic stone. And um, for this, I feel like we might run out of room. No, I, I mean, you can pick either way. I'm going to do it sideways. All right. So let's get started. We're going to start with the triangle of the V for the mamik, or they call it tatik. Okay, you can use a ruler if you want to. I rarely use rulers. The more, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. All right, let's do a parallel line, kind of. You want it to be thicker on the bottom and get skinnier towards the top. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Back up a little bit. There. That's better now you guys can see. All right, now for the papik. I wanna start from here. Mm, let's start from here. We're not gonna have enough room. So let's go up. See, is that gonna be enough room? No, it's not. We're gonna make them closer together. Um, I'm going to say there's a line here, so then we'll come this way. We're doing a rectangle, okay? You're going to utilize most of the space left. Okay. Um, for this portion right here, we're going to... I want just a corner of it. You're gonna do a diagonal line. Erase this tip and then bring a straight line down. You're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, but it's going the opposite direction. This is perspective. You're creating the illusion that it's getting smaller because it's farther away, all right? This is the side of the 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 grandpa all right now that that's done let's go back to this one we're gonna do an l shape on this side we're just gonna do a line a straight line okay that l shape is also gonna come on this side as well you can't see it on this side but it's there and then Bring it in this way. Mm, these two kind of overlap. That's all right. All right, next step. Inside the top here, we're gonna do one line, two line, three line. The fourth line is gonna be less space in between. It's gonna be different, okay? So you, have, you should have four lines, three of them being straight, one of them not. Now, as for this guy, right, let's start with the nose so we don't go too long. It's hard to say exactly how far down you should go, okay, but that seems about right for mine. At the bottom of that, you're going to do a straight line, diagonal, diagonal, and then straight, straight. Now, on, almost towards the bottom, one third, 
one third, ah, that's a good proportion. We can do one third, one third, one third. So divide it up into three parts. You wanna be really technical, you can bring out a ruler. Measure it, divide it up into three parts. Okay, now we've divided that up into three parts. Let's give him his eyebrows. And then we'll do one more parallel line. And then you're going to do, oh, then you do the eye. Underneath each one. And then you do one more line. That's his area. We will come back. Let's go to her. Over here, below this widow's peak thing we did, we're going to do an eye, an eye, and then you're going to do, just like the grandpa, two straight lines for the nose. Below the eye, we're gonna do curved and curved. Okay, we'll come back to her. Let's go back to grandpa and put a mouth. Okay, let's go back here. We're gonna do some straight lines. Oh, it should be touching the nose. Okay, so let's touch the nose. First straight line, second straight line. You're just gonna go, it doesn't matter how many, you're just gonna go until the bottom point here, okay? Okay, so I added the curls to her hair. At least that's what I'm assuming it is. Up here, we're going to do some straight lines. Below that, we're going to do curves, curves, curves. And then right above, I guess, the, her eyebrows, I'm, I'm guessing, is just diagonal lines. And that's pretty much the drawing. We're going to do a horizon line. Okay, so now that we're done with the drawing, let's do our sky and floor first. The stones itself, you'll need a lot of, um, how can I say it, like earth tones, browns, beiges, reddish, reddish brown, and you want it to look like they're stones. So you kind of want to have like, don't make it perfect, but scratchy, squarish looks even in the face, all right, everywhere pretty much, in both of them. Um, over here, it's more like dotted instead of squares like everywhere else, I don't know. And the eyebrows for both of them. So when we draw it, you don't have to color it like squares. You kinda wanna just do one color, but maybe then go over it with a darker color and do the dots. Same thing with her eyebrows okay but everywhere else is kind of squares start with the sky. I'm just going to fill it in for now.
I'm gonna do dark to light. I'm gonna attempt to with the crayon. I'm using the same color right now and just pressing darker for the top half, a little more than top half. Then I'll use an even darker, was it this one, for the very top. You don't want a stripe though, you want a smooth transition. This is much easier with soft pastels. Okay. Same thing for the grass, but the opposite. It should go light to dark. There's less coverage for this. So I'll do some medium. Okay, so sky and grass done. I'm going to lightly fill in, the rest I'm gonna do with color pencils. I'm gonna pick my lighter color and lightly fill it in, kind of everywhere. It is all one color, you know what I mean? One, one. Thing. So they're not like areas that are going to be, basically it's just multiple earth tone squares, okay? So I'm just picking the lightest of those squares. So that's her, okay. Make it a little bit confusing. If you don't have as many browns that I have, then just get an orange, get a reddish color. Don't press too hard with the red. It would, it would kind of ruin it if it's too bright. Same with the orange. You could use red, orange, brown, maybe some yellow, or like get the Dijon mustard, and that should be enough. But leaving it just this one color is not good enough at sixth grade and up. I mean, if you guys were in second, third grade, I'd say fine. But you want it to look realistic. Okay, before we begin the squares, we kind of still want to give it tones. Like this area would obviously be darker less sun hitting it, okay? Anything towards the bottom. We can imagine our sun being on this side. I'm gonna pretend. So I'm gonna do slightly darker on the right side of each thing and the bottom. Right and bottom. Each separate section needs its own tones. This is besides the squares that we're about to do. Okay, this side would definitely be darker. I'm gonna, let's see. No, oh, this is fine. 
we want to have other tones in there too so let's give it some the bottom and then this whole right side Now, let's begin the squares. So pick any of the colors that you have and pick random spots and fill them in. It does not need to be perfect, but it definitely needs to look like somewhat squares. Like they didn't have, when they built this, it was not precise. They're not all the same size squares. They're all kind of different, random random different colors it's not like there's one brown and then there's a red next to it and then there's an orange no it's like whatever sometimes there's two of the same colors three of the same color next to each other so you don't want it to be perfect looking i'm gonna do every other up here i'm gonna do it brown just because it's pretty dark up there and then i'm gonna darken I mean, like, darken up the orange in between as well, too. Okay. Um, let's darken down here. Sorry, I took a break from the square, so I got distracted. I'm going to pick... Be darker. Remember what I said about the uh, eyebrows? Well, you know what? Yeah, okay, fine. Let's do it now. And his beard. And his eyebrows. Same thing with his eyebrows, and then do the dots. I should pick a darker one. Also, you can fill in inside the eyes and the mouth of both of them with a dark brown. Okay, I'm going to continue with the squares. I took a long enough break. Maybe we'll find more details to do afterwards. Just pick one color and go with it for now. Random spots. Then pick a second color. Okay, I'm gonna go over these stripes with the brown.
Okay, I'm also going to the nose stripes. And the eye stripes or the eye lines. I'm going to go over this side as well, the corner. Okay, let's move on to another color. What color's left? How about this? Let's try it. That's good. Typical brown. The other one was kind of darker. I'm not going to do every single one. It would be too much. It would look weird. I'm going to leave most of it the original color that we colored. I'm okay with this this should be enough you want to go more I recommend you open a picture and go farther I'm doing this without an image in front of me just from kind of memory I mean I have my drawing picture that I did but not a colored version so if you are gonna go farther I recommend opening it up on your phone or computer and looking at the actual image so it could be as accurate as possible. All right. Hope you kids had fun. I will see you again next week. Thank you very much for joining us.